All right, now this is the liberal urban legend of global warming part two. But your ass is still sore from the butt kicking I gave you three days ago. I detect a curious inability on your part to learn from your mistakes. I suggest you see a doctor about both conditions. I got a lot of feedback on my first Global Warming is Alive video, so I thought I would do a follow-up and add a little bit of data to find out, is it really getting warmer outside? Outside? Outside where? Do you mean outside the backyard or outside the planet? If outside the backyard, the answer is yes or no. If you're talking outside as the whole planet, the answer is unequivocally yes. Now, yesterday here in sunny South Florida, it was 52 degrees. Now, that's pretty cold in South Florida, 52 degrees. Oh, man, the fuck up. Around here, it was zero degrees this morning. That's right. No temperature here this morning in northern New Mexico. And do we complain? Well, of course. Always, constantly, without ceasing. Anyhow. But I thought I'd find out what the temperature was back in 1960. But why? The title of your video is Global Warming. It's not Backyard Warming. 1960? For your backyard? Nobody cares. Nobody. 52 years ago. So I went online to the Farmer's Almanac and... The Farmer's Almanac? The Farmer's Almanac? Why not go to, oh, I don't know, maybe the National Climatic Data Center, perhaps? The Farmer's Almanac. Good gods, that's funny. Found out that yesterday, yes, indeed, it was 52 degrees in South Florida, but on that same day, in 1960, it was 66.9 degrees. It was 14.9 degrees warmer on that same day 52 years ago than it was yesterday. Oh my god. The sun's going out. So that got me thinking. I doubt it. Maybe it's not global warming we're dealing with. Maybe it's backyard cooling. Maybe we're going through a period of global cooling. Global? Your backyard is the entire planet? Are you sure you're not from Texas? Your acidic stupidity makes me wonder if you are being serious or if you are a troll. I'm going to just assume that you are actually serious in what you are stating. The state of Florida is divided into seven climate divisions. This is because the climate throughout the state of Florida, as in every state in the United States, as well in every region in the entire planet, have different climates. For all seven divisions in the state of Florida, the temperature has been increasing. The current rate is slightly less than the global average. Climate Division 1 in the northwest shows a very slight cooling trend. Division 2 in the north also shows a very slight cooling trend. Division 3, which is the north central division, shows a very slight temperature increase trend. The south central division, Division 4, shows a temperature increase trend. That increase matches the global average. Division 5, which is the Everglades and the southwest coast, also show a warming trend close to the global average. Division 6, which is the lower east coast division, shows a temperature increase trend slightly higher than the global average. And finally, the Florida Keys, which is Division 7, also shows a warming trend. Overall, the state of Florida has a temperature increase trend that is slightly lower than the global average. A few states in the United States, and also regions throughout the world, have a cooling trend, not a warming trend. Most states in the United States, of course, show a warming trend, not a cooling trend. And finally, for the contiguous United States, all divisions, all states, shows a temperature trend increase that is slightly more than the global average. Globally, of course, the temperature trend has increased sharply, and scientists know why. The fall of the...